hi everyone and welcome back to our channel so today in this video we are going to discuss how we can export contacts in salesforce so by exporting contacts we mean that that we are going to export the contact details in an excel or a csv file so exporting the data is useful when you have to back up your data and sharing contacts with other team or creating reports outside of salesforce so there are three ways that i will discuss in this video to export the contacts so the first way is export contacts from the reports where we will create a custom reports using some filters and obviously the contact object and the second method of exporting contacts is using the data loader tool and for this you need to install the data loader in your system and if you haven't installed the data loader i will give a link in the video description from where you can see how you can download the data loader for windows and the third and the last method to export contacts is using the salesforce data export wizard so we are going to see all these three processes step by step so let's move ahead and see the process so as of now i logged into my salesforce org and from here we will navigate to the reports tab where we will create a custom report for the contact object so to navigate on the reports tab you have to click on the app launcher and here search and select reports and if you are already in the sales app then you can simply click on the reports tab and in the reports tab you can see this button new report so we have to click on it and after this we have to select the category and the report type so for the contacts we have to select the category accounts and contacts and from here in the report type name you can select contacts and accounts because here we don't have a report type only with the contact object so for the contacts you can select the report type as contacts and accounts or you can create a custom report type including only the contact object and on our channel we also have a video regarding that like how you can create a custom report type in salesforce so from there you can see and create a custom report type for the contact object so as of now i am selecting the report type as contacts and accounts and after this click on the start report button so as of now there are no contacts appearing on this report table so for that we have to apply some filters so for that go to the filters tab and here you can see in show me field i will select my contacts and for the range i will select ranges all time this will bypass the date filter and display all the contacts that are there in the org and after applying the filter you can see these are the contact records available in my org and from here you can also select which field details you want to export so for that you have to go to the outline tab and here you can remove or add the field columns and you can simply click on the cross button to remove the column and now to export the contact records we have two options that either we can first save and run the report and then export in the excel file or we can directly run the report and there you will see this drop down edit and from the edit drop down you will see an option export so as we click on the export button you will see an option that you want to export the details only and for the format you can select the format in which you want to export the report in which you want to export the contact details so for this example i have selected the csv format and after selecting the format you have to click on the export button and now you can see in the downloads these records are exported in a csv file so i will click on the csv file and show you how the exported mm -hmm. record will look like in a excel file so this is how the exported contact records will look alike in the csv file so this was the method to export the contacts to the salesforce reports now we will see how we can export the contacts through the salesforce data loader tool so now i am going to open the data loader tool so in the data loader we have to click on the export button in order to export the contacts so here is the export button and as we click on the export button it will ask for the login so as we click on the export button it will ask for the login so here i'm going to log in with my credentials and now in the second screen we are going to select the object so we are going to export the contact so here i'm going to select the object as contact and then we have to select the location for the extract file and after selecting the object and the location for the extract file click on the next button 
and now in this step you have to select the query fields that you want to export so these query fields are the fields of object that you are going to export and they will appear as a column in the csv file that we are going to export so here you have to select the query fields that you want in the csv file so here i am selecting the name email and phone so these are the three fields that i have selected and after this i will also select the id and in the data loader you can also apply some query filters to sort out the records and after selecting the query fields click on the finish button and mm -hmm. as you click on the finish you will get a warning message that you want to export the records so here click yes to proceed and as we click on the yes button you can see this data operation ran successfully and exported the 77 contact records so view the extracted records click on the button view extraction and here in the csv viewer of the data loader you can see the exported data of the contacts and from here you can click on the button open in external program so it will open in excel file and here you can see your exported data of the contact records so this is how you can export the contact using the data loader in salesforce so till now we have discussed how you can export the contact records from the reports and from the data loader as well now we are going to discuss the last method that is using the data export wizard so let's move ahead and see that process also and before that i will close this data operations of the data loader and on the setup page of salesforce lightning we will navigate to the data export wizard so here in the quick find box we have to search and select data export so the data export is kind of a schedule job so here you can see the heading monthly export service so with the help of this we can start the export process manually or schedule it to run automatically so when an export is ready for the download you will receive an email containing a link that allow you to download the files and the export files are also available on this page in within the 48 hours and after that they will be deleted so according to that you have to select the option that either you want to export it now or schedule the export so when we click on the button schedule export you will see an option that you have to select the start and end of the schedule and also the time for the schedule export and after that you have to scroll down and select the object so from here you have to select the contact object if you are going to export the contacts so here is the checkbox for the contact object and after that you have to simply click on the save button so this export will be scheduled and then other option is through the export now so for that you have to click on the export now button and you have the option that you want to include image documents and attachments and also the files and the documents so you can also select these check boxes according to your requirements and and in the section exported data you have to select the contact object and then click on the start export button so as we click on it you will see a message your export has been queued and you will receive an email notification when it is completed so this is how you can export your data in a schedule format using the data export so this was all about exporting the contacts from salesforce using the data loader report and the data export so i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video so if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye